Okay, here's an, uh, another video on my uh, thoughts on just pearly things. Let's go. I was getting ready to do another video when I came across this particular email and it says more racism from Pearly. So I read the email and it says, music. Hello, I run a very small channel called Mike TV. I'm not sure if you have seen the content Pearly put out over a year ago where she is reacting to black history as if it pertains to the slave trade. I have more footage if you're interested. So I go and I check out the person's YouTube channel, and this appears to be my form the Mr. Real Estate channel. So let's check out what the clip entails, and then we'll come back. Why do you think black people sold black people into the slave trade? They weren't thinking. They weren't thinking. Oh, oh, they're black. I shouldn't. They're thinking. Yeah. Let me get this bag. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't clip me. Don't clip me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, when, oh god um because they had and she knew even with her token black puppet friend up there that she was still talking some bs because oh don't clip me guys don't clip me don't clip me uh too late honey boo boo child you done got clipped up so guys that is a very interesting take from pearly she likes to talk about black issues now, I just typed in just pearly things, black women, and I end up with like a clip like this. Black women are losing because of this. Now, see. Well, she makes videos, I think, sometimes based off of the clickbait. And sometimes it can be off of just trying to basically get people to look. Um, usually from what I've seen of her videos, she doesn't really go in on black women particularly. I feel she basically talks about modern women. As you stated in your other video, um, you actually mentioned that she talks about modern women. Well, when she talks about modern women, she talks about modern women. That can be a black woman. It can be a white woman as either. Now, the thing is, what I think is more important, though, in this whole situation, like, with her channel, I don't feel it's targeted against black people, not black women specifically either, or black men, obviously. Um, I don't really feel it's targeted like that. I've talked about some videos, like, some videos that she's done, I have uh, did some commentary on and things of that nature. I didn't feel like what she said was offensive uh, particularly to black women I sometimes felt like um, her lifestyle um, an expectation of women to live that lifestyle or to want that lifestyle is different and is egocentric because she focuses on what she wants and desires out of men though she has expressed that she is a bisexual and that she may not have interest in men the same way a straight woman would Say you have a sexuality that is very flexible. Therefore, you are going to be very lenient on certain things with men that other women will not be because our sexualities do not let us have that much flexibility. And it makes sense. If you have flexibility in your sexuality enough to be attracted to women, then you obviously have a lot of flexibility in your sexuality. Um, so to me, I don't really, I don't, I don't per se have anything against what she does in her life. That advice she gives, I feel like it only applies to women with her sexuality. It doesn't apply to women who don't have her sexuality and have different needs than she can comprehend, basically. You know, and also, you know, like different things, like some people will talk about like alpha men and things of that nature you know those type of people want that type of man right they want an alpha man they want all those things out of a man say a woman personally does not like an alpha man you know in any aspect of life and that is seen as a threat to some women like myself you know i i do think that that's not um that I should, t I don't feel like I should be telling her how to live her life or what kind of men to go for. You know, I don't feel like her type of um, advice is really 
telling me what to do in my life because it's like I have different interests, different desires, different men I want physically because, like I said, I have a different sexuality. I'm straight and different, you know, interests emotionally. You know, different types of people need different types of people. You know, there's somebody for everybody. You know, I don't think anybody needs to die alone, basically. But, um, yeah, I don't really have anything against her message. Now, what she said about slavery, I would say, personally, I do see what she said about slavery the two times. Both of those times it was wrong. One, she was very... She takes it in such in a lighthearted way, how she talks about slavery. She makes jokes. She laughs about it. It's like she doesn't have any understanding of the seriousness of the situation. And she seems to see it as something that you can make jokes about. Like, that. that is really concerning. You know, and that to me is you know, very insensitive. I do not think that she is per se racist because to me, I'm like, well, she doesn't, if she was racist, why would she be with black people? You know, if you're racist, you, you don't want anything to do with black people because you see them as animals. You know, you see them as inferior. Her laughing at slavery does not mean that she thinks that they are animals that black people are animals or inferior it just means she doesn't take slavery seriously obviously and she sees slavery as some kind of joke which is just very insensitive that is very rude that is very you know that's wrong you know but i do not see her as racist per se but I do not agree with her statements, like saying that slavery was embellished in the other video and saying here that, uh, you know, slave, that black people were trying to get a bag when they were selling black people into slavery as if it was some kind of joke and hee ha ha kind of situation. I mean, like, uh, you know, obviously she doesn't take slavery that seriously, you know, and that is really terrible that and very ignorant i think more so than anything i think maybe she's just ignorant and she doesn't realize the seriousness of the situation you know so that's one part of what i wanted to say just just pearly things is sort of passive aggressive so now what 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 do i really mean you know, she takes these little digs at the black community, but the, the most genius thing that she does is she allows other people who are black to express their dissatisfaction with dating black men or black women or whatever on her show, just like she did with Nick Fuentes. And Nick. For one, I don't think she just digs at black women, though. That's the thing. You're saying because she anecdotally it digs at black women, does not mean she's digging at black women all the like only. You, I've seen her because I've re- reacted to many of her videos. And many of them, she's talking about a white woman. So uh, when it comes to women, she seems to racially um, criticize both sides evenly black women and white women but it's an even thing going on there she does not seem to depict white men as often as she does black men i do notice that um but she doesn't seem to criticize either side that much either in my um in what i've seen i haven't seen her uh criticize black men or white men so i don't think she is racially motivated i don't i feel like she is more uh like behavioral motivations going on there, you know, when it comes to her show. That's why I said I don't feel any offense to her show. I do feel her comments were, um, yeah, they were very uh, insensitive to black Americans and not Africans. I know people want to add everybody in on this. Black Africans were the culprits to this, so don't even try and include them. But anyway, continue. Fuentes, who got into it with King Richard's girlfriend, um, she she also just sat back idly by and let this go down. And see, the thing is, people are trying to... Well, if you were trying to say that it was racist what Nick Fuentes said to 
Rich's girlfriend. Well, then wouldn't it be racist what she said to him? Because she said because he's biracial, he's not Italian. So then he said she is, she is she's because she's dating someone outside of her race and he's not then she's not Italian. What? It seems like it's the same thing there. You you go after someone for another race, the other person goes and says that and what he really explained there, he didn't even say she's not Italian actually. He said that other Italian men would not like that she doesn't prefer them. Well, I mean if an Italian man was into her and she's into black men, then I don't think they would favor that either. Um, do you like when you like a girl and the girl doesn't like you? Like, I don't think so. So I, I don't feel that was racist. If anything, I guess her, the girlfriend was racist because she said he was an Italian based off of him being mixed race, which, I mean, culturally in our country, that's how we do it. Um, you know, but I mean, you know, I don't really see either in interaction to be racist. It's one person said one thing, the other person countered it with race. They both brought up race there. Um, he didn't just bring up her boyfriend's race out of nowhere. She, she brought up his race first. So, continue. Front just pearly things on um, issues or discussing things with her. Why is she talking about this? And some people even tell her not to apologize, which I'll get to in a minute. But now here's the situation. I don't want to talk to black men about this. You see, again, you brothers out there believe because this is the black men. A lot of black men who like white women, she's willing to accept a black penis. So because she accepts a black penis, she's not racist. She's doing things. One in Sorry seven children that. does not have enough food to lead a healthy and active life. But... ...things with black people. She's not... To me, honestly, just because she's insensitive about slavery and makes a few jokes, and she's not saying it as if it, like, oh, that was acceptable behavior. It's just... You know, and I don't get the vibe that she's saying it's acceptable that black people were enslaved. I see that she's just insensitive about it. Uh, I don't think that that means that she's inherently going to be against being with black men or that she has an issue with black people because of that. Because it's like, I don't think that that specifically defines her as racist. You know, it's an insensitive com comment. But that doesn't mean that, you know, she's a racist person, in my opinion. That's why, for me, I haven't unsubscribed from her, honestly. Because it's like, eh, what she said I didn't agree with. But she did make a comment and make a video specifically saying that she was wrong in saying it anyway. And to me, it's just like... um yeah, I, I don't, I don't really, I think her channel isn't really based on talking about the history of slavery. If her channel was based on talking about the history of slavery, then I would consider, I guess, unsubscribing in that case. But she's talking about relationships, which actually has nothing to do with race. And I don't feel her channel is focused on race. A lot, I think a lot of black people focus on her because of her race, but I don't feel like she's focusing on their race. You know, I find a lot of black people focusing on her race. And why is that? You know, isn't that pretty racist to be focusing on her race? All you guys have been saying is white woman, white woman, white woman since the beginning of her channel. Like you guys constantly are talking about her race. And if somebody, um, a whole bunch of white content creators just kept talking about a black woman, black woman, black woman. You guys would be screaming racism all day long. But just because she's a white woman, you could say that. That How is that not racist of you calling her a white woman, focusing on her being a white woman, I'm saying. I know she is a white woman. I'm saying you're focusing on that. 
for everything and trying to almost like you always say that she put on a pedestal just because of her race all while everybody on here has been trying to constantly call her plain unattractive and ugly somehow she's on a pedestal it's just your way of saying woe is me which is annoying to me it's just your way of trying to say that she's a culprit just by being a white woman like that's that to me is real racism there you know you guys have been prejudiced towards her since the beginning of her channel in my opinion but yeah i i do think that she was insensitive in what she said as well continue though not not racist but you never see just pearly things reviewing clips of those people who've also had a history of let's say um something similar to slavery Let's say, like, um, what we call the untouchable community. She never talked. No, the Holocaust is nothing similar to slavery. I don't understand why people always say that. I'm not saying that it wasn't an atrocity committed against Jewish people. It is. You know, it was, or whatever. You know, um, but it definitely wasn't anything compared to slavery. Imagine being born into a physical, sexual, emotional torture and then you are grow into adulthood in these circumstances until you die. Okay, you have no freaking respite. Those Jewish people were, you know, usually these people were adults or older people where they experienced life as normal people did. You know, normal childhoods that may have been healthy. And then they went through that atrocity, which is terrible, but it's different being tortured for four years instead of tortured for the, for your whole life, being raised by people who were, uh, whose own, their own, whole purpose to you was to torture you because you weren't raised with your parents. So you're raised by these slave owners, basically, who just tortured you, you know, from birth to, uh, to your death. You know, so I mean, like saying that slavery is anything similar or, you know, that uh, Holocaust is anything similar to slavery. That is not true. That is not true. Slavery was thousand times worse than the Holocaust, if not more. Continue. Talks about that, does she? She won't pull up a clip talking about that. Or let's say the Muslim co uh, community with the 9-11 thing or LGBTQ. She never says something about Sam is the LGBTQ community this. Don't clap me. Oh, no. But see, here's something that she knows. You see, the black community will let her clip her or some brothers outside of the black community. Like you have this one guy called the black conservative, which I'll deal with him a little bit later. But then don't apologize to woke liberals. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. This is not being a woke liberal. This is, you have this individual who's talking, who has a, this is a habit. This is not like, oh, she said something one time and, and something very bad happened out of it. No, 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 no. This is constitutive. I didn't know. You don't know that you're woke liberal? That's weird. Yes, I do agree with what he's saying. Don't apologize to woke liberals because he's saying that, you know, when you apologize, they expect certain things. I think that, um, yeah, she did, she did need to explain and try to uh, uh, fix what she said last uh of, about slavery and so forth I do think that I just think you know um, I think that sometimes people feel like when uh, people have all the outrage and cancel culture they don't want anybody to bend to it so that's what that is about I think anyway continue with your video with her. if she's not saying something a or she just like on there. She does agree. Does it? It's if she just needs to say. But the, that's not even right. Because people exist. Have in this I deal with that. I deal with the blacks who accept it. That's the issue. And I want you to know, like, if you're going to deal with somebody... You should get something out of it, right? That's the thing. You know, like if I work hard or if I sacrifice in the business or even in the gym, I expect to get something out of it. 
Yeah, I, I, I would. Like, like if I work... Oh, yeah. Well, going against the cancel mob and the woke mob and all that stuff is beneficial for everyone who isn't a part of that mob. So I think that it is actually personally beneficial to go against them because generally they're going to eat you anyway on another topic. So it's best to go against them. So I agree with a uh, conservative perspective on that perspective because if you are to bend to them, then they win, basically. But I do agree that she said something wrong. So to me, I, I, I don't know. I just don't personally agree with what she said. Continue. Out? Out? If, 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 or, or if I study every day, I expect to get good grades. What I've seen some of the brothers in the black manosphere do, or in black YouTube do, um, for me, here's here's what I'm, I'm, I'm getting at. You guys are simping for this lady who has a history of disrespecting your community. So if you're going to participate in that, the one question that I have for you is, what do you get out of this? What do you get in return? Like something, uh, and I can see why somebody like this black conservative guy, because he's, I mean, you know, the black conservative perspective channel. I can see why maybe he'll do this. It makes sense because he gets a ton of views, a ton of money, which I still can't explain why he does that. Well, honestly, it kind of still makes sense in that regard, because if you are conservative, some people have this idea of their side and this side and that side and everything, so then they try and defend even the indefensible. Because as Pearly thinks is a conservative, he would have a tendency of defending conservative people and conservative channels and so forth. So that kind of makes sense. Anyway, I mean, like, that's the only reason I'm subscribed to her, actually, because she's conservative, actually. So it is, it is a thing that a lot of conservatives do side with each other on that basis sometimes not all the time like like i said for me i understand what she said in my opinion was wrong and her giving an explanation and everything that was uh and apologizing and so forth was i think the better route but i do understand why some people would say that you know she should not have apologized that doesn't make but it, it makes a little bit more sense because he's making a lot more money than the guys who are doing it in the comments so at least he has a financial payoff to like have his opinion, which I don't agree with, and it's never really worth it. But he has a, a more of a reason. But you guys in the comments, who you get nothing out of protecting this behavior, what do you get out of it? Is the question. Want well, know what you get out of it? Nothing. You get nothing from it. Your situation never changes. You lose more respect in the community that you hate. You get no more opportunity to monetize your community because nobody who talks like this has a community, can make money off their people. Nobody who thinks like that can become successful, period. It doesn't exist at all. But when you tell Negroes this, they get upset. At least Candace Owens gets some money from it, at the very least. The guys in the comments who are... My thing with Candace Owens is this. Why would you so sue people for discrimination and racism and so forth at school when $40,000 off of, you know, that whole situation and then afterwards try and claim that, you know, uh, that, that other people who complain about racism and all that stuff need to stop, like... You need to apologize for suing people and, you know, harassing people just because they said something negative to you that you felt like your feelings were hurt and now you thought you need, it deserved $40,000 because somebody said something that made you feel sad. Like, seriously. So, it, it seems like to me, it's like... You don't really believe in what you preach. You're just grifting, in my opinion, at that point. Especially since you didn't give the money back. But yeah, continue. I hear cons who are out here mad at me, pissed off. What do you get from it? Like, you don't, no nothing about your life is going to change. And here's the kicker, right? They don't like you more. People like, are re people re actually respect people that can enforce things, people that have power. So the more power you give her to be able to say those things about your people, 
she's going to make more money. She's going to be able to come into what you consider black spaces, social media spaces. She's going to invest into more black employees, take the money from those black employees or from the system. And she's going to build more wealth off of you while you don't have anything from the industry that she's building off of you, which is completely fine because it's capitalistic and this is a business. But you don't get nothing. You don't get any. In fact, you get less respect. Imagine where and I remember when the 9-11 thing happened and you could have it was open season on Muslims in America for the most part. When I mean open season, I meant that um, you, 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 you could say almost anything at that time about Muslims. In, in America, people were seeing everything, and it wasn't considered so much of a hate speech as it is now. If, if Muslims just sat there and said, you know what, we're going to accept this. Um, no, they didn't say that, right? They're like, look, we got to stop these people from talking about our community and whatever we need to do. We need to stop this behavior from them. We, we, we need to do this. There is... One thing is... One thing first off is she didn't say anything specifically negative about black people like that, in my opinion. Secondarily, people have a right to freedom of speech. So, I mean, like uh, having an issue with someone, having a particular opinion, even on slavery. If someone wanted to think that slavery didn't even happen, that's their right. Like they can think that they can say that that's their their right to believe that right to say that um as a conservative we believe in the right freedom of speech you know you have a right to freedom of speech and i don't think that it should be like such a big deal that she specifically said that race like that slavery is embellished but i do think that that statement is an ignorant statement and i have every right to make my opinion on what she has to say about that you know but saying that she shouldn't be able to say that is like you're obviously on the mentality where you know you agree with like the woke woke liberal like ideology where they don't believe in freedom of speech they believe in hate speech they get mad when people are saying things they don't agree with you know that's the problem with you you are somehow not aware that you're woke and you're liberal but that's quite obvious here um personally to me i, I am not one i mean like i can honestly stomach way more being said than slavery was embellished it's just that that factually was incorrect and that factually that's not that's not the case because in most cases with slavery i mean we try to make it much 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 less extreme than what it was i mean we literally call black people black and not admit the fact that you know black americans are literally a quarter white 26 percent white to be specific and that that white ancestry specifically come from slave owners who raped slaves um and that black americans are literally fathered were fathered by 56 i mean 54 percent of the time 52 percent sorry of the time um by white slave owners back in the day and you know how that in itself was you know pretty bad like people always act like if that didn't always happen or things of that nature but we can see that genetically that did happen pretty often do you see how that psychologically in itself would hurt children of those situations you know how that would affect you if your parent was your slave owner do you see how bad that situation is like nobody even addresses all that I mean, people, uh, people hate to talk about those situations, you know, uh, it's what it is. Nobody likes to get into the details of slavery and the fact that it happened 200 years, 10 generations, cradle to grave. There is no respite. You know, nobody is trying to embellish slavery. People try to act like it didn't happen mostly. And when people mention it, they don't mention the graphic details. So uh, that's my thing. It's just factually, that's not true, you know, but on the basis of can she have that opinion? Hell yeah, she can have that opinion. You know, she can have that opinion. 
you know, she can voice that opinion. It's a matter of freedom of speech. That's her right. But my opinion on that is that's an ignorant um, assumption, honestly, and an ignorant comparison to compare it to the Holocaust. So that's all I have to say in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. Comment down below and have a great day. Bye, guys.